Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Final Fantasy XII. Uh, here's the thing. I recorded a previous video, and I went through Arcades. I had to do something with finding three chops, and talking with Jules, and finding out he had chops, but he didn't give it to me because he's a douchebag. And I went through the Dracula Laboratory, and I got to the next part of the story, but my mic was not on. So after reviewing the footage, I'm just like, Frack! But luckily, I had a save point in Arcades before I did the whole laboratory part. And really, the only thing you missed was the chop system, and... A stupid long conversation with Jules, in which I found out he's a douchebag and I wanted to rip his goatee off his face. Um, but yeah. So hopefully, playing this the second time around, I'll have a better idea of what to do, but I still might get lost. And oh no, here's the conversation with Jules. I gave Jules some chops, and then he appears up here. And he's like, ha ha. Hey, everything I'm doing is for my own good because I want information. So. Oh my gosh, I don't know why Balthier deals with him, but yeah. He had us running around doing busy work until the judges closed up Dracula so that we can't get in there. But everything just for, seriously, for his own good, for his wealth, for his, you know, stable position. <sighs> Don't you Lord Father's conceits. Uh, so basically, no one knows what Dr. Sid is doing ever since Vane took over the Senate, got rid of the Senate, and he's just ruling Arcadia's, the Empire himself. So, he wants info about the lab. Uh, that's why f So when Jules sent us out to uh, go look for chops, Fran was looking at him, just staring at him, and Jules was just like, ha ha ha, what? It's because she knew he was shady. <sighs> Brings a tear to my eye. You know what would bring a smile to my face? Punching his nose. Famran. That's an interesting name, Famran, with two F's in the beginning. But basically, here I go. You know where to go. Let me to the lab, let's go. And... <sighs> Hopefully this won't take as long as it took me the last time. Seriously, I was just running around in circles like, what am I doing? He's a foot old friend of yours, both of you two seem close. We're not close. Close enough for fisticuffs. Driver, faster if you please. I would be loath to expend any of the violence on a present mood on my companions. Then why do you trust him? Why don't you use someone else? I guess he doesn't want too many people knowing who he is, so that's why he has to turn to jewels, but... Mm-mm, man. Mm-mm. But at least this time around, I know how to fight the boss. So I won't do too many stupid moves. I won't waste too much time. And hopefully the gambits that I set up will work out fine. But we shall see. We shall see. Ah, oh, this stupid laboratory system with its red and blue bulkheads. Yeah, I mentioned it in my last recording that did not have any sound, but their security system of like closing each color bulkhead is not. It's not very smart. Like, if people have to get out in an emergency, but they're like, oh no, this way is blocked because a red door is blocking it. But then if you open the red doors, the blue ones close. It's just. Uh, not efficient. It's at the top level. And Ash is being weird. Ash, you're so weird. Um, 
Ooh, spooky scary. There's bodies on the ground. Are they dead? Are they fainted? Who knows? I know. Actually, I don't. I can't tell if they're dead or sleeping. But these bodies don't matter. What matters is that we go up one floor. <sighs> Please let me be able to do this without too many hiccups. I don't want to seem too lost, especially since I just played this part. It took me an hour. Can't believe it took- oh wait, no, someone has a smiley face. Yeah, don't think you'll get away with this? Oh. You don't tell me anything useful. Uh, where is the CD? Is it this one? Yeah. So they're not dead yet. They're just a little knocked out. I don't understand why I had to come into this room when they were like, Hey, Sid's lab is at the top floor. This isn't even the top floor. Look at all his research. What is he even working on? Man, I really like the textures that they redid for this version. It just looks so much better than the original PS2 version. Oh, hey, keycard. There's someone else here! Heck no! We go busting in, head first too. Yay, got a map! Got the map, got the map. The map won't help me at all because I don't know how to read maps. I'm terrible at reading maps. Was there anything in here? I don't remember. Oh, there was this lady. Or man. Person who says he's on 70, so I know where to go. I don't know if that's a requirement to be able to use the elevator up to levels, um, floor 70, but. Oh well. It's useful. Uh, blue is locked, so I gotta. Yeah, see, even though I have a map. I don't know where the freak I'm going. Oh, it was one of these rooms that opened. And then there was a control in there. Yeah, right here. Oh, come on. I'm never going to get used to that. Stand right in front of thing at the perfect spot and press X. I'm never gonna get used to it. It's been like, what, 14, 15 episodes now? I still will never get used to it. I don't think there was any treasure chest in here, but there- nope, I lied, there's a safe crystal. Uh, I'm gonna save over this one, which was my last file without any mic sound. So it's not gonna be a huge loss, nothing too big happened anyway. And I don't want to go exploring too much into all the rooms, but one of the rooms did have Gill Toss, which is a technic. And I do want to learn all the technics, I want to make sure I don't miss any. Oh yeah, I changed Fran's Gambit so that uh, she uses magic instead of physically attacking. Because I was like, wait, I have her as a black mage. Her magic power is stronger, why don't I just cast magic on everyone? I don't think I had to do blue? Because the weighted elevator is open. Okay, so then there's... Let's see, there's... Oh. There's a room down there, but... Whatever. If there was anything special, my loss. But yeah, um... When I upgraded everyone's equipment, everyone got new armor, headgear, and weapons. Except Fran. Fran didn't get a new weapon. I could have given her a crossbow, but then her magic power would have gone down. 
And I was like, that doesn't make any sense because she's my black mage. Magic power should be her strongest attribute. Uh, so... Fran is still using her... Why don't they have more stabs? Makes no sense. Uh, that is not a door. This way is all locked. This is a door. But does it have the controls or does it have the weird eye monster? No, it has controls. I hope... Like, I know you have to complete the entire beast, Jerry, and I hope there aren't some monsters that are just located in one area. Because if I miss them now, that's it. I miss them forever. So let's look into all the rooms. Yeah. What the? I missed this room earlier? What the freak are these? Why are there so many rats? Is she only using aqua? Wow. Why are you guys not killing these rats quickly? Did I miss the eye monster room? Oh well. That was interesting. Yeah, there's just random rooms full of monsters? One time there was a room just with one judge and I was like, what the freak is this? Uh, I don't think I went this way. Yeah, and when I played it last time, I was lost and going round and round. And then I realized, oh, just follow where the enemies are coming out of. Duh. Are you a control room? Yes, you are. Uh, let's hit it. Yeah, see? See how many different rooms you have to go into just to open the red and blue bulkheads? Like, who's supposed to stay behind and open all this for all the other people if you have to evacuate? It makes no sense. Oh, was I in the middle of the battle? Too late. Yeah, see? Random judge. Why are you in here all by yourself? Ouch. Oh, I shouldn't heal myself, but whatever. Uh, magic, why magic, here uh, us. Huzzah! Also, if Fran is mostly a magic caster, why does she always insist on running right up into their faces to cast the magic? She can cast it from a distance, but she doesn't. And so they all target her. But she has low HP. This is... Sometimes the AI is weird. Oh no, I came the wrong way. I'm supposed to go... Did I come the wrong way? I don't remember. I don't know what I'm doing. The camera loves zooming up into her boobs. I don't mean to do it. It's just every time she goes near a door in this area, it just happens. This is not a control. Is this the eye room? No, this is nothing. There's no even treasure chest here, even. <sighs> I did come the right way. Yay! That means I don't have to explore the whole other side. Oh, wow. Ow! Guys, what are you doing? Fall here, what are you doing? Bother, what the freak, man? Why are you just standing around doing nothing? Ow. Thank you, Bond, for carrying me. Why did they hurt so much? I am grossly underleveled. Yes, I'm already here. I'm already... Wow, that wasn't even... I made it here in a fifth of the time. Then it took me in my last playthrough. Wow. So maybe I'll be able to go further than I did in my last recording? <laughs> ba -ba -ba! <laughs> New person! <laughs> I like how he just straight up went after Bosh, even though Balthier and Vaughn ran in front of him. <laughs> 
Our earlier visitor. Ah, knows too much. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Um, there was nothing here, but there was something in the room here. This is the room where I found Giltas and um Hastega mode. Okay, only one treasure chest this time? Well, that sucks. Hmm. I guess I had better luck with my last save. Oh well. Save! I can leave this area easy. Do not underestimate my skills. Actually, yes, underestimate them because I am total noob. I don't remember anything that happens. For the rest of the game. I don't remember sequence of events. Let's go! Hi Ho Silva! And now a little break time before the fight. Shido! He has such great facial hair, except that tiny little sliver of a mustache. Like, what the freak is that? Ba -ba -ba. Meet again. We'll take the dust shard back. So... His voice is so annoying. Nanda. Oh, he seems insane. Kisama ga darumasu ka no ojo ka. Hmm. Mikomi ga naku mo nasa so. And the way he moves kind of reminds me of Voldo from Soul Calibur. Nani o itte ru no? You are crazy, old man. Heck yeah, she does. Don't pretend like you don't. Of course he does. It's because of your royal power that you can unleash the power of the sharks. That's what he wants you. <laughs> Let's see if this battle will go just as quickly as my dungeon run. See, if you know what to do, the dungeons are super short. But last time I had no idea what I was doing, so I was running around and around and around. Here we go. We attack the rooks. Attack the little dudes first. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, attack, Rookie. Attack, Rookie. Hey, uh, guys, do you want to attack the Rooks? Oh my gosh, I gotta change her gambits to from fire to attack. And you switch these around. Uh, part of these are okay. Good. Bond's on track. Rook A. Now fall here. Help me. They have reflect, so I can't cast magic, so you gotta do all the damage because Bond is constantly casting the spell. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Okay, now we. This is why we're going after them first. Attack it, attack them all, attack them all, attack them all. I know I should be using Vaughn to also attack and it'll probably help kill them faster, but you know, they're not really gonna do anything if they're constantly casting Reflect on themselves. Which leads to less buffs for Dr. Sid, so... Gotta do it. Oh, do, did it die? Okay. Still go free now. Nice! Five combo. I forgot. There's treasure chests here. 
Let's take a moat and a holy moat. And let's go back to attacking. Okay, now we attack Rook C. And they're not reflected anymore. Um, okay, and now we switch your gambits back. Oop, your gambits back, friend. Uh, two. Oops, there we go. Here. And now he should be no problemo. I could always use. Ooh. Maybe I should use quickenings again. This attack looks scary. I don't understand this attack because he's standing right in the line of fire. Like, that's not smart. And, oops, wrong one. Let's get this battle over with. Bye bye, dude! That's me. Now that he doesn't have all his buffs. He shouldn't have all his buffs. The only buff he should have on is haste. Because Bomb was cast constantly casting the spell. So this should hurt him. Last time I was fighting him, I got up to 16 hit chain. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get up that high this time, but we'll see. Fires of War. Yeah, I'm not seeing any missed charges, so this will be a very short quickening chain. Let's go, let's go. Speed him up. Discharge! Ooh, yes, a level 3 quickening. That should do some good damage. Come on, give me another missed charge. Let's charge. Yes! Another level 3! Alright, now friend discharges, that would be awesome. Ooh, nope. I like how they never really explain how the characters get their quickening powers, because they just seem like normal humans. And then they're like, hey, if you go on a license board, you can Let's learn go. magic, you can learn techniques. But these quickenings, they don't they seem like a greater force. And it's just like, okay, where did it come from? I don't know. Cause it's not like they all have innate magical powers. They're not part of a magical peoples, like magical bloodline lineage, so where does it come from? We may never know. Give me one more level 3... One more level 3 quickening. Come on. Someone else missed charge. Give it to me! Mischarge, yes! Another level 3 quickening! Magic. He's, he has to be dead by now. Oh, another one! This is number 5 then. I did get Neptaeus as a Esper, right? Yeah, I just didn't assign it to anyone. Oh no, oh, oh no, oh, I missed it. Oh well, at this point he should be dead. So, I'm not too worried. Yeah, this all took half the time of my last recording. Arc Blast? What? It's not Whiteouts? I guess because I did have some level 2 and level 1. Quickening's in there too. 32,000 damage! <laughs> no! He 
he's been blocked. But he still landed on seat. Nice. He calls it Venice. But it's spelled Venat. It's not Venus. How far will you go for? He has no right to talk to her like that because he is power crazy too. He's been experimenting and researching. So why the heck is he calling her out on it? And why aren't they trying to stop him? I know Red has tried to stop him. But there is this airship here. Kill the airship. Destroy the airship. Take Sid with you. Why are they just letting him go? You are insane! <sighs> Why did they not chase after him too? Uh... Oops. I accidentally hit the mute button. On my TV remote. Oh my gosh, please rip his mustache off. Please rip his mustache off. I was wondering why in this section of the story like, some words are capitalized when they wouldn't be in normal English, but then I was like, oh wait, maybe they're trying to be like German, where they capitalize all the nouns. So like, development, rule of judges, threats, camaraderie, nouns, they are all things. Making ready for the task ahead. The task? Beating up the Empire. That was a weird cut of the map. Why would you do that? Do midnight to dawn. Honestly, that little exposition did nothing for me. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's useful to explain what everyone else is doing while we're on the grounds, like, going through all this stuff, but... Look at all those airships. Flagship Garland! Bring back the Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> Bring back the weapon names for airships. I'm really sad that in Final Fantasy XII, it wasn't the typical summon names for all the espers. All the tip normal summon names went to airships. And then Esper's got new names. <sighs> oh well. What can you do? Oh, I have a good foreign you think you're ready, but you're not. See just how ready you are, dude. And another long cutscene, and then more cutscenes, all the cutscenes. That's the place of the city. Ash, how long have you been traveling with pirates? And yet, you don't realize how they, how they work. There are chairs. Why is no one sitting? Is everyone just on edge that they have to stand all the time? Distasteful. Hey, I'm all for pacifists. 
means of resolving con conflicts, but when push comes to shove, you gotta show some action. Vayne will never see a change. He's crazy. He wants all the power. Exactly. Smart man, Redis. Andor has some really nice green eyes there. It's so, like, vibrant. Yeah, please clean up all those bottles. Why would you leave trash? Lying around everywhere in your house. Gross. ベイン飲むつもだ。解放軍とロザリア軍が出て行けば、浜崎でまとめて戦えるバンバンバン。安心しろ。石は指導が持ってる。捕まえて覇王の剣で石をぶっ壊せば、ベインの切り札は消えて
probably an us for battle. Let me at it, man. Um, but yeah, this is a good place to stop so that I can stop by all the shops. You don't have to look at all that boring stuff. And next time, we'll be on our way to Gear of Vegan. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.